Hello everybody, welcome back to Jake's RC Stuff channel and today we're back with the Mini Drac. In the last episode we glued on this 3D printed nose that is absolutely rock solid. One of the many benefits of goop glue, but there are also probably more downsides. But anyway, um, for a job like this we need ultimate toughness without it sort of being um, fragile, this will still bend a little bit. Good! So what do we need to do today? Essentially we need to cut a load of holes. I need to cut a hole for either camera the run cam one's going to be bigger because the run cam actually needs to slide in this way. Um, and a little hole for the other camera, just the wire to come out. Um, we need to put a hole through here for the servo, for the aileron, same on both sides. And then a hole through here for the bay and the servo wire to then keep passing through. Then we also need to glue in, probably going to use goop glue for that. There are these little gold inserts or, or brass inserts so you can use them to screw in the um, covers. So I am going to be gluing those in. That'll definitely be a goop glue job. Um, so yeah, let's uh, undo the front of this nose and see what we've got to cut. Okay, so that's the nose off. Looks a little bit strange now. And this model is having two cameras in front of it. It's having a run cam 4K. This is going to be shared between this and the Great White Shark. And um, because I'm basically doing two premium builds at the moment of the White Shark and this, I need to make sure I had two decent cameras. So run cam Swift going in each. And this one appears to have possibly already been used, but I'm not sure. Um, it's obviously it's attached to the mount. That's not how they come and some of the foam's missing and stuff. The problem is, is in its current form, this will not fit in this hole because it has this extra stuff for the mount. So what I'm going to try doing is, well, I'll try to fit this, which is like another one that comes with it, but because it's got all those extra holes on the side, it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to attempt to do is remove this bracket and the back plate and just use this back plate that's flat. That works excellent. If not, we'll just have to use one of the cheaper Banggood cameras, which are honestly in some ways just as good as these. Um, they're not quite as good, but they do have a tab plug on them. So, although we we'll probably won't need them on this because it's all going to be one piece. But anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, get that removed and, and, and see what we can do. Okie dokie. So, swap the, just the back case over. And the problem is that sort of lip around the brass thing, too big. But... I got one of the good old cheapo Banggood cameras out, and that fits, he says, absolutely. No problem. A little bit of rock to it. <clears throat> what I'm probably going to do is uh, just drop a little bit of super glue in around the edges just to hold it straight. Um, there's also. I don't see how else to, to hold it really. Um, the problem is, is because there's, there's so much, you know, round there carries on. I can't use like hot glue or anything. So I think it's going to be super glue. Uh, just make sure I'm going to take the lens cap off. I think just make sure I don't glue the lens cap on. Cable here. I'm going to need to actually. I'm going to put that in. I didn't need to do anything else. Um, you know, I didn't need to cut through here. So all I'm going to need to put through here is a hole as close as I can to this edge for the cable um, to go through, which is, as I say, that's the cable for that. I'll pack all of this run cam stuff away. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's what's strange is I think this is metal and that's plastic because it has like a heat sink pushed against it, but... Anyway, um, so yeah, that's done. And then we're just going to have to get the knife out to cut for the um, 4K. Because when I stick that in, that's sticking way out the back, as you can tell by the length of it. So, uh, yeah, let me get this run cam non-4K stuff packed away. And we'll proceed from there. Just bear with me a moment. Okay, I'm a bit of the inside. I can't remember exactly what was in the last clip. But I have both cameras installed. I have the FPV camera, if you like, the regular camera. Here, two little um dabs of um thick super glue to hold that in this the only problem is that there isn't a way to press and hold the power button to turn it off two ways to get around that one you have to take the, the nose off each time or i'm just gonna put a hole in and i'll do it with a screwdriver because i'll hear the beeps and everything even if i can't see the light cables are run either side to show you how it's going to be so that's the fpv camera this is the run cam running across there real nice 
really, really super happy. So what I'm going to do next, crack, it's heavy in the nose now. Can't wait to get the motor on the back to level it up. Um, we're going to look at doing these poke holes. And I think the way I'm going to do that is blow torch in a piece of metal. Um, I've seen a few people sort of recommend it that way. Um, maybe what I will do is do it without hitting it up first, just to make sure I'm not going to dig into like the wrong area. And then we'll go in and sort of do a whoopity, 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 whoopity to uh, make the hole a bit bigger. Um, so I need... Here and here doesn't really matter. I'm probably just going to put it through the middle just to make um, life a little bit easier. Um, I mean, I guess the ultimate way to do it would be to work out what's going in what. Um, yeah, bear me a minute. Right, I'm about to say I'm suffering at the minute from, like, horrific memory loss. <laughs> um, so... What I've been doing is I've been trying to sort of place the stuff that's going to radiate, as it were. The only thing that isn't here is the flight controller, but that's because that's going to be a 411 WSC. They're not really known for having um, transmit issues. Now, if I was being sensible, I made them maybe put this stuff in the wings, but I haven't, so it's going to have to live in the pods as provided by right wing. Here we have the rush, 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 the rush, apparently. A rush tank mini is what that is. We have our GPS and then we have our um, TBS crossfire that way. And compared to the old, back in my day, most things only had three wires. Um, so um, the GPS has always had four power, uh, plus minus, transmit, receive. Um, these always used to be uh, positive, negative video, but there's now a fourth wire to change your smart audio stuff. So that's the power the frequency, things like that. And on uh, the TBS here, instead of just being positive, negative, and S bus, I now use crossfire as much as I can, which means there's a transmit and receive on there. So four wires, eight, uh, four wires, four wires, four wires. They're all going to be moved into the center section to roughly about here, where I plan on putting my video transmitter because I want as much room back here for a speed controller. Um, so we're now look here at where to put stuff. In terms of these things, which are, to explain, I wear this to, like, get glue and stuff on it. As you can see, my dad's used it for painting the shed, uh, so I don't get stuff on my shirt. Um, that doesn't fit through there, but you can fit it and then just slide it out of the way. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these. I might 3D print some. There's plenty available on Thingiverse uh, to, pu to push air in so that um, things like this get cooled properly. And also, if it's not going to get bashed probably leave this case off to let air get over all the components because it's not much of a heat sink I don't think really it's yeah it's plastic so be best leaving it off to get air sucked over it um so in terms of cutting holes for wires something roughly that big for the server wire then another hole through here for both of them I was trying to work out where I want the cables to come through, and I think it's going to be the middle, because these are going to be sort of positioned like this. And that's going to be sort of stuck somewhere over there. Um, so, yeah, just basically just middle and middle through. But, I, you know, I'd rather check these things. Um, so, I'm going to have a look at cutting some holes. Be back very shortly. Okay, so I'm, like, so tired at this point that... Uh, my brain is exploding. Um, but as you see, we now do have slots all the way across. I'm not sure this is how I'm going to keep these or not, because I do want to possibly be able to take the wings off. Um, so we're going to have like an extension lead run into here to connect this up, in which case I may shorten these. Don't 100% know yet. The main reason we're doing all this is so that I can get all the stuff done that might be cut-wise before I then cover it in a carbon. Um, the thing that we basically need to do next is work out where video transmitters and things like that are going to be going um and, and get them cut and, and and moved in um what i am probably going to do is solder things like this that so the video transmitter isn't going to be stuck in the wing that's fine gps isn't going to be stuck in the wing but i can solder the wires onto this have them run long into here and then we can d deal with them as we need to um but yeah um so i'm gonna leave it here um i'm gonna take this apart i've got the bench to tidy up but um yeah if you enjoyed this um yeah in terms of what did we actually do 
we've got the cameras in. I may take them out just to reduce the nose weight. And as I say, it's mostly about the cutting. I've tried fitting, actually, I'll show you that quickly, one of the one of these little things in. It doesn't seem to go deep enough. I need to drill the hole deeper. And I have decided I am going to 3D print some covers for this. I need to find the ones that I want and get them printed. Probably need to do that before I glue them in. So, yeah. Next steps on this are going to be getting the TBS Crossfire receiver sorted and getting some covers cut and everything and make sure all that stuff's all right and then we can go from there because this won't be too hard to do at a later date we can cut them off and, and do whatever um because i don't particularly want to put them through this hole every time so yeah we'll see how we go with that but as i say if you enjoyed it please hit the like button sorry it's been a bit scatty this episode i've been a bit all over the place i've had a headache on and off all day for the last two or three days um, not great. Um, so, like, uh, if you have any questions or feedback or anything like that, please feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you're new here and want to see some more of these shenanigans, shenanigans even, please subscribe. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,